Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. As you know, the world is currently fighting the COVID-19 or coronavirus outbreak. So in this video, I'll introduce you to some devices that you can use to detect these kind of uh, diseases like uh, COVID-19 or any other disease related disease like respiratory diseases by yourself if you don't have access to the testing facilities and you have some symptoms. So first of all, you have to go for these kind of methods at the last stage like when you have severe symptoms but initial symptoms of the illness like uh, fever or cough or some throat ache breathlessness and so on in that case it is better to consult a doctor and then get tested as soon as possible but as you know some of the countries are currently struggling for testing these diseases even if you are known to be infected the hospitals are overwhelmed and uh, they cannot admit all the infected patients and in the new COVID-19 infection around 80% is mild so most of the people will be told to stay at home because the medical facilities are overwhelmed so the remaining 20% uh, they will try to focus on but how do you know that whether you are getting serious to be admitted to the hospital so these kind of uh, situations may arise in the near future so it is better you, for us to prepare for any kind of eventualities so that's why i am making this video i'm not a doctor or a medical professional i'm just an engineer but i learn about this stuff from uh, dr john campbell's uh, youtube channel so i'll give a link in my description below so the first thing you should be having is the thermometer the classic old thermometer or this new digital thermometer is best if you have symptoms and if you feel that you have fever and cough and other breathlessness so these kind of symptoms of uh, the new COVID-19 then you should always check your temperature and if you have a fever then it may be a bad news for you but there are also uh, normal flu and other common cold and just usual fever or some other related uh, problems so it may not be always the COVID-19 unless you have traveled to some of the infected places around the world then in that case you should be very careful it's better to get tested but if you don't have uh, any travel history then it may not be required but now the community spread in many of the countries is on the rise we have to be careful so first is the thermometer to check your temperature you I think most of the people should have it and it is not only for the COVID-19 cases. So the next thing is the oximeter. It's a pulse oximeter. It can measure the oxygen level in your blood. So this is a very, uh, not very expensive device. You can get it online for around $15. It is very small and it's very easy to use, user-friendly. So let's unbox this and uh, I'll show you how to use it and what are its functions and how does it detect blood uh, oxygen levels. So, so it comes like this it comes with a lanyard and the user manual it is in english thankfully so you just have to put your finger uh, any of your fingers into this device so it comes with the oled screen with different kind of displays and uh, it has some alarm functions like you can set to sound an alarm if their parameters are going low or high this is the functional principle as you can see i'll explain this later so it's a very simple device you have the device like this you just put it in your finger like this so it's uh, very easy to use let's uh, put the batteries first so it takes uh, two AAA cells but we should be careful as I can see here the cells can go anywhere around so you should be careful of the polarity it may damage the device if you put the batteries in the wrong polarity so let's get the AAA cells and check the polarity here so this is plus and minus so plus and minus so be careful and then you have minus and plus here so the negative and positive polarity should be you should be very careful i don't know whether it has any reverse polarity protection or not but this is a very cheap device so we don't know and it's probably made in china <laughs> but anyways so let's plug it in here and turn it on so it says oximeter and it starts so this is the oxygen level in my blood it shows 99 percent and this is my pulse that is around 80 so this is the level that we are looking for in case of coronavirus or the covid 19 or any other kind of disease like pneumonia or respiratory diseases uh, first let's talk about the device so we can press this button to change the display orientation like this so now the display is changed 
like for example you are using in the left hand then you can make the display in this orientation that is a blood oxygen level and that is the pulse again it's a similar so you can use it in any of the fingers and you can press this to change your the display like for example if you are in a, a hospital and you want to measure the blood oxygen level of your patient then you have to use like this and there are so many other uh, display modes the default one this is the best i think and then you can also set the alarm so the, these are the parameters if you press the button uh, around three seconds then it will go into this mode where you can set the alarm and other parameters so what is the alarm used for this uh, parameter if the numbers go out of the normal levels then you can use uh, the alarm function like for example if the oxygen level is too low then it you can give an alarm and then it'll sound a, a beeping alarm and in the case of the pulse also if it is too high or too low then it can also give another set of alarms so that is the uh, purpose i'll try to explain the functionality first and then uh, how it is uh, measuring the oxygen level in my blood and i'll also try to test it whether this number is actually accurate or not because we don't know these are very cheap devices and we don't know whether it's accurate it may be just displaying some random number also right so let's check it and there is no power button so when you uh, don't uh, put your finger in it then it will just after some time it just turns off so let's bring my notebook here these devices are called spo2 oximeter like um, the spo2 stands for saturation of peripheral oxygen in your blood so how it works is if i turn it on you can see some here you can see some uh, red light emitting and there is some receiver so when you put the finger like this the emitter the light emitter below your finger is going to emit some light and it will eventually go through your fingertips and the receiver will receive this emitted light so based on the levels of uh, oxygen in your blood receiving light will be different so how does that happen the device here the emitter device here has two kinds of lights one is the red light as you can see the when you turn on there is a red light here it also emits uh, infrared light so the in the red light is used in such a way like blood which has less oxygen will be absorbing more red light so the receiver will receive less red light from the emitter and the infrared light so more infrared light is absorbed by oxygenated blood so when the blood is saturated then more infrared light will be absorbed so if the receiver receives less red light then it means that the level of oxygen is less and the if the receiver receives less infrared light then it's going to say the saturation is more and the, you are okay that's how it works and this is a very simple technique uh, how can we use this kind of device for uh, detecting or diagnosing COVID-19 or pneumonia or any other respiratory diseases so I learned this from Dr. John Campbell's uh, uh, videos. So the, these in the inside the lungs, there are very small, very mi minute channels where uh, oxygen or air will pass through these channels, and there are some kind of compartments. And deoxygenated blood uh, in small, tiny blood vessels will flow through these channels, and then oxygenated blood will come out through the other end by absorbing the oxygen in these uh, compartments so when in case of pneumonia or any other respiratory diseases like uh, COVID-19 or SARS happens then these compartments are filled up with fluid so when the virus uh, enters the compartment and the uh, your antibodies are trying to fight it then I think uh, the there are fluid build up in the compartments here and in that case there will be less oxygen being absorbed by the blood and your blood is going to be deoxygenated and to the level which is uh, not good for you so what is the level that a healthy person should have the healthy person should have 94 to 100 percent as you can see mine was around 99 and almost all of the time is 99 and sometimes it's 98 a healthy person should be around 94 to 100 so those people who have less than or 
93% like if the oxygen level is less than 93% they will give you oxygen support but uh, nowadays what happens is like because of the so many COVID-19 cases uh, some of them are getting reduced to 88% means that you will not get oxygen support unless you, your blood level is less than 88% so that is quite serious so a very serious uh, uh, issue here so now let's see how you can detect the COVID-19 by yourself right so you have some symptoms and you may have some travel history or even if you don't have any travel history you have some difficulty in breathing and then you, ha you have your thermometer and you are having fever and then you may have some uh, tiredness they because your blood level uh, oxygen level is very low is getting lower and then you feel tired then you get this device and check your oxygen level and initially it may be 99 percent when you started with all the symptoms and then it will gradually reduce because the fluid is trying to fill up because of the virus uh, the lung fluid is getting built up and then your saturation level is getting reduced so if it is less than around 95 percent or 90 even 96 percent i think you may be in trouble below 94 percent is not good and you need to consult a doctor when you are measuring it you you shouldn't move and you should be still like this so if you move then what happens is uh, the numbers may not be accurate so let's say another let's uh, uh, consider another uh, example like where uh, you are diagnosed with the covid-19 the hospitals are full and they told you that uh, if you are having serious problems and if you show very serious illness then only call them then they will come and pick you up otherwise you have to stay at home uh, and under self quarantine so this is a very common case in china and now in korea and uh, even in Italy or Iran, I think these cases are happening. If uh, you are diagnosed and how do you check whether you are getting a serious illness or you are one of the 80% who are getting just mild illness because of COVID-19, right? So how do you know? Then first thing is maybe it may be obvious that you may have some difficulty in breathing, but uh, it may be for some time. But if you have this device, then you can always measure your oxygen level in your blood and if it goes below 95 or 94 percent then in that case you can call them and tell oh my blood le oxygen level is uh, this much and it is getting serious and i need a hospital bed as soon as possible for oxygen support so you can also do this kind of a uh, strategy so there is one uh, scenario another thing that uh, we need to check is these are probably chinese made products and very cheap and how do we know that it's actually working so for that, uh, I have devised a test. This is supposed to measure the blood oxygen level or the saturated hemoglobin. So let's measure it. Okay, so it's now measuring the blood oxygen level. So in the meanwhile, what I'll do is I'll try to hold my breath so that if I hold my breath, this uh, level should decrease. Then in that case, we can say that this device is actually working. But the problem is I am not very good in holding my breath. So what I'll do is I'll try to breathe into a politin bag like this for some quite some time. And then I will uh, see whether the numbers are decreasing uh, after some time. It takes time for it to reflect the numbers here. So I need to hold my breath quite a long time. So let's see that. So the, that was the test so as you can see the numbers went uh, below 93 around 93 so that was the least i could get and i had to start breathing because i was getting dizzy so that is the level where it gets into 93 where you feel uncomfortable so if the as you can see it is always 99 or sometimes 98 but if your level uh, of your spo2 is around 96 or 95 in a constant manner like when you are not moving then i think you may have some problem uh, with your uh, lungs and you may have pneumonia or covid19 so that's how we can detect 
that's all I want to discuss with you today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.